Taxi Dancer is a paid dance partner in a partner dance. Taxi dancers are hired to dance with their customers on a dance-by-dance -dance basis. When taxi dancing first appeared in taxi dance halls during early 20th century America, male patrons would buy dance tickets for 10 cents each. When a patron presented a ticket to a chosen taxi dancer, she would dance with him for the length of a single song. The taxi dancers would earn a commission on every dance ticket earned. Though taxi dancing has for the most part disappeared in the United States, it is still practiced in some other countries. Etymology, the term taxi dancer comes from the fact that, as with a taxi cab driver, the dancer's pay is proportional to the time he or she spends dancing with the customer. Patrons in a taxi dance hall typically purchase dance tickets for 10 cents each, which gave rise to the term dime a dance girl. Other names for a taxi dancer are dance hostess, taxi, and nickel hopper, because out of that dime they typically earn 5 cents. History The first descriptions of taxi dancing were documented as early as 1913 in San Francisco's Barbary Coast neighborhood. At the time, the ticket a dance system operated in what were called closed dance halls, because female customers were not allowed a euro the only women permitted in these halls were the dancing female employees. Taxi dancing then spread to Chicago where dance academies began to adopt the ticket a dance system for their students. This system was so popular at dance academies, that taxi dancing quickly spread to an increasing number of non-instructional taxi dance halls. Taxi dancing's popularity peaked in the 1920s as scores of taxi dance halls opened in Chicago, New York, and other major cities. At that time, the taxi dance hall surpassed the public ballroom in becoming the most popular place for urban dancing. The ticket to dance system was the centerpiece of the taxi dance hall where the taxi dancers worked. Taxi dancers typically received half of the ticket price as salary and the other half paid for the orchestra, dance hall, and operating expenses. Although they only worked a few hours a night, they frequently made two to three times the salary of a woman working in a factory or a store. Various films and novels chronicled the lives of taxi dancers. For example, in 1927 Joan Crawford starred in the film The Taxi Dancer, and actor Edwin starred in the Ziegfeld Broadway musical Simple Simon, which popularized the song Ten Cents a Dance, which in turn inspired the 1931 film Ten Cents a Dance, starring Barbara Stanek. After World War II the popularity of taxi dancing in the United States began to diminish, and most of its taxi dance halls disappeared by the 1960s. Taxi dancers today, taxi dancers may dance among paying customers in order to raise the standard, or dance among the beginners to encourage them to continue learning. In the latter situation, taxi dancers often provide their services on a volunteer basis, without pay, with the general goal of building the dance community. In social settings and social forms of dance, a partner wanting constructive feedback from a taxi dancer must explicitly request it. As the taxi dancer's role is primarily social, she is unlikely to criticize her partner directly. Due to the increased profile of partner dances during the 2000s, taxi dancing has become more common in settings where partners are in short supply, involving both male and female dancers. For example, Male dancers are often employed on cruise ships to dance with single female passengers. Volunteer taxi dancers are currently used in dance styles such as Serac to help beginners. Equals in the United States equals, paying to dance with a female employee is still available in some nightclubs of the United States, including many in Los Angeles. These clubs no longer use the ticket to dance system, but have time clocks and punch cards that allow the patron to pay for the dancer's time by the hour. Some of these modern dance clubs operate in buildings where taxi dancing was done in the early 20th century. No longer called taxi dance halls, these latter-day establishments are now called hostess clubs. For official purposes, in the United States their occupation was sometimes referred to as a dancer, when they worked in taxi dance halls which had all the necessary business permits. But there were some professional secretaries who were moonlighting and legally worked part-time as a dancer. Equals in Argentina equals, the growth of tango tourism in Buenos Aires, Argentina, 
has led to an increase in both formal and informal taxi dancing services in the milongas, or dance halls. While some loan operators are trying to sell holiday romance, reputable tango taxi agencies offer genuine services to tourists who find it hard to cope with the cabecho euro eye contact and nod dinga euro method of finding a dance partner. In popular culture, references to taxi dancers and taxi dancing in contemporary culture include equals film equals the musical and film suite charity about a good-natured taxi dancer Lana Turner plays a taxi dancer who puts up with snobbery at a college dance in the 1939 film These Glamour Girls In Stanley Kubrick's film Killer's Kiss the protagonist's object of affection is a taxi dancer The film A League of Their Own where Madonna's character May Mordabito refers to her former life as a taxi dancer the White Countess is a 2005 British Chinese drama film directed by James Ivory, which starred Natasha Richardson as the title character, a taxi dancer in 1930s Shanghai, tasked with dancing to support her family. In the 1989 film The Fabulous Baker Boys, Michelle Pfeiffer sings the anthem of taxi dancing, Ten Cents a Dance. Rosie Perez and Steve Buscemi's characters in the movie Somebody to Love were taxi dancers. In the movie High Sierra, Ida Lupino's character Marie mentions working as a dime dance girl, where she met Babe. In the movie The Girl Said No, Jimmy first meets Pearl at the taxi dance hall where she works, but only after he buys enough tickets to attract her interest so that she consents to dance with him. In the 1932 film Two Seconds, John Allen meets taxi dancer Shirley Day who seduces Allen into marrying her. The 1947 Lucille Ball film Lurd is about a serial killer who kills a taxi dancer, and another taxi dancer who goes undercover to trap him. In The Rat Race, Debbie Reynolds plays a young woman who is a taxi dancer in New York City. In Ralph Bakshi's film Heavy Traffic, Carol tries to work as a taxi dancer. Equals television and radio equals, the CBS radio mystery drama suspense featured an episode I'm a Dance also starring Lucille Ball, about a serial killer who specifically targets taxi dancers with red hair. In the Laverne and Shirley episode Call Me a Taxi, the girls work at a sleazy taxi dance hall. In the episode World's End of the CBS TV crime drama Cold Case, the victim who was murdered in 1938, Audrey Metz, worked secretly as a taxi dancer to support her family. In the pilot for The Carol Channing Show, Carol Honeycutt becomes employed as a taxi dancer. Disaster ensues. Equals literature equals, Henry Miller's character in Sexus, part one of the The Rosie Crucifixion trilogy, frequents dance halls of this sort, where he meets his wife Mona. According to Miller, these dance halls were subject to frequent raids by the police. Christine Fletcher's book Ten Cents a Dance is about a 15-year-old girl who works as a taxi dancer. The ill-fated burger torn in Mickey Spillins' Kiss Me, Deadly was a taxi dancer. The heroine of Neville Shute's novel Lonely Road worked as a taxi dancer in a dance hall in Leeds, England. The Perry Mason novel The Case of the Rolling Bones published in September 1939 has one of the characters saying she was a dance hall girl in 1906. That was before the days of taxi dancers as we know them nowadays. In the Pai Xian Young collection of short stories about life in post-Chinese Civil War Taiwan called Taipei People. Graham Greene's character Furong in The Quiet American works as a taxi dancer. In the short story The Twilight Taxi Dancer by Shi Tse Kun. Equals song equals, the 1930 song Ten Cents a Dance, from the musical Simple Simon, describes a taxi dancer's troubles at her job. Both John Mellonamp's third album A Biography and his fourth John Cougar contain a song entitled Taxi Dancer. Dime Dancing is referenced in the title track from the 1977 Steely Dan album Ajar. The Tina Turner song, Private Dancer. The Dengue Fever song, Taxi Dancer. Danny O'Keefe's song Rosalind Taxi Dancer on album O'Keefe. The 1984 Rick Springfield film Hard to Hold and the Hard to Hold soundtrack album contain the song Taxi Dancing about a relationship in which the couple is merely going through the motions. The lyrics to the song rely on taxi dancing references to tell its tale. 
The hit song Love is a Battlefield by Pat Benatar has the singer perform as a taxi dancer in the music video. See also, Taxi Dance Hall, Ballroom Dance. References Strictly Tango for the Dance Tourists, by Goni, The Observer, London, November 18, 2007.